Hi everyone, it's Andrea here and today I'm going to do a review, woohoo, you know how much you love them, of Heartless by Marissa Mayer. I know most of you have probably read this and if you haven't, why haven't you? This is an origin story, it tells the origin of the Queen of Hearts. Um, people have likened it to Wicked. Now, I want to say that I have read Wicked. I do have a copy of it somewhere. Around, up there, somewhere. Where is it? I know, but it is here. There is a copy of it. Oh, it's, it's over there. <laughs> you can't see it. Um, so I do have a copy of Wicked. I have read it. It was years ago. And although, yes, it's an origin story, which is similar in the sense that it tells the origins, like Wicked told the origins of the Wicked Witch of the West. This tells the origin of the Queen of Hearts from Alice in Wonderland. The two books couldn't be more different. I found Wicked, though I enjoyed it, very difficult to read. It was very sluggish, very hard going. I know a lot of people love Wicked and I got nothing against it. I've kept the book, I really enjoyed it. But this was so much easier to read. From page one, Marissa Mayer's writing style pulled me in. Now, obviously, we all know Marissa Mayer from the Lunar Chronicles. I haven't actually finished reading the Lunar Chronicles yet. I've only read Cinder and Scarlet. I hope to get the next lot, the next few in, in the series. There's another four, isn't there? There's Crest, Winter, Stars Above and Fairest. Uh, hopefully, in the new year, when I get my overtime. Shh, don't tell the other half. Um, but I've loved the first two. So I wanted to get this, and I wanted the hardback edition because it's so pretty. And I do like pretty books. And this is one thing about books today. It's not just about what's inside them. They have to look good outside as well. And why not? If we're paying good money, we want it to look nice. This one, no, that's another story. We'll do that in our ramblings one day. So yes, so basically it tells the story of uh, Lady Catherine Pinkerton, who is the daughter, obviously, of a Lord and Lady. She likes nothing more than baking tarts. Queen of Hearts, she bakes some tarts and wants to open a bakery with her maid, who is also her best friend, Marianne. Of course, her parents have other ideas for her, particularly her mother, who wants her to marry the King of Hearts. She doesn't want to marry the King of Hearts because he's a bit limp and a bit damp. He's a bit of a squib, damp squib. In other words, he's, he's not very, there's not a lot of emotion there. He's a bit dull. She wants love and excitement and romance and cakes and he, just wants a queen who bakes nice things for him. So all the way through the book she fights her destiny which is to be the Queen of Hearts. She meets um, uh, the King's Joker who is called Jest and they fall in love but they can't be together because he's a lowly Joker and she is a lady obviously so he can't. So all the way through this they're fighting, uh, he, she, you know she's fighting her destiny, she's fallen in love with, with with Jest. We meet all the fantastic characters from Wonderland. We meet the, the, the Hatter. We learn how, how the Hatter became mad or why he became mad. We learn how the Mock Turtle became, well, the Mock Turtle from being a normal turtle. We learn all that thing. We, we meet the Dormouse and everything. It's so sweet. And I remember thinking at the beginning, I was reading the book and thinking, how is she ever going to become the Queen of Hearts? How is she going to ever be that horrible woman that screams off with her head? How? How? It's just not possible. Catherine is too sweet and kind and loving and wonderful. And no. But what happens? It shows you how a good kind of person can become due to circumstances, evil and empty and heartless. I know. So, oh, it was a brilliant book. In the end, she, although she was fighting becoming the Queen of Hearts, she made it happen. She did something she was specifically told not to do. But because she was such a good-hearted person, because she was so kind, she did it anyway. And she is the one who lost. And I will be honest, this book broke by heart. It left me with a book hangover. I, I, I mean, I finished reading it and I went on the computer to do something and my other half was like, you are right? And I'm like, uh, uh, what's wrong? Oh, the book. It was like, what, the book? I said, oh, oh, don't, don't, just don't talk to me. It was, it broke my heart completely it got to me so much and every now and again I'm like 
Oh no, it can't. Oh. Because it, it got to me that much. It's that well written that I was just, I just was gobsmacked. I couldn't speak. I was like, oh no, the, the, you know, basically this can't happen. But it did. And fair play, Marissa. This is a fantastic book. If you like Alice in Wonderland, if you like fairy tales and tale and story retellings and origin stories, you will love it. You get, if, if you don't love it, there's something wrong with you. Seriously, it's fantastic. It is brilliantly written. It is amazing. It is beautiful. Yeah, it broke my heart. I gave this five out of five stars because although it broke my heart, although it wasn't the ending I wanted, because I wanted Catherine not to become the Queen of Hearts, we all knew she was going to be because she had to be and it's how she got there that made the story so brilliant so go out and buy it go out and buy it now or else i will have to come around and chop off your head okay good so that's five out of five stars for marissa may is heartless i hope you enjoyed this review if you did like it leave a comment if you read it if you agree if you don't agree tell me why i'd like to know give me the big thumbs up like, share and of course subscribe. I will be back very soon with some other bookish ramblings, reviews, nonsense, wrap-ups, book hauls, Friday reads, maybe a tag, you never know. But just read it or else. I'll see you soon. Bye!